Hi everybody, love ya. I'm Joanne and this is Joanne Ralston Art. And welcome to the After Fab Collab. Um, there is a bunch of us artists that went to the Fluid Art Boutique Fab and we are honoring the four ladies who um, taught us some new techniques that we didn't know and we created or let's say per perfection spot Tracy created and after fab collab to put together to honor our teachers um this started today at one o'clock with mina vallejas art then at 1 15 it was angie mason fluid art me at 1 30 um, 145 is Cause Creations, Kathleen. Um, 2 o'clock is Nate Bright. And 2.15 is Jan Christensen. And 2.30 is Teneva Baker Art. So, if you've missed Mina or Angie, you can go back after the end of this. And after me, please go to Cause. So, Today, I've got to move quickly because I only have 15 minutes, and as you guys know, I can't do it. So, I'm gonna move you down to the canvas. It is a 16 by 20 canvas, I believe, um, and I am doing Mina's straight traveling pour, and I'll show you the colors as we go. Thank you. Let's get busy. This is Pebio Iridescent Gold. And I am going to just drizzle some in the bottom. And that's what Mina taught me. Then I'm going to drizzle a little bit of white. Not much. All right, this color is Deco Art um, emerald and sapphire mixed together. I really like this one. That's why I'm using it again. And I had some left over. And I hope I have enough. Oh, please have enough. Or we're going to start this video all over again. This is sea glass green from TLP. This is Naples Yellow from Amsterdam. And this is Mermaid from TLP. And for those of you who don't know, TLP is this little piggy. And then I'm gonna start over again with the Pebio Gold. Now, when doing, I'm doing a straight pour, a straight traveling pour. And when doing that, um, you want to start about here so that it doesn't roll off and travel upward slowly and closely to the canvas. And I need to slow down, I can already tell. And you can slowly move. It's going to give you fingerlings. I don't think I have anything that's going to create cells or those boulder cells. Okay. And then if you want, you can travel back. Oh, I don't like how that 
emerald and sapphire is breaking up. Why is it doing that? Well, let's keep her going. Keep her going. back up a little bit and then I'm going to go forward and then if you're going to stop in the middle of your paint being poured you want to catch it with your fingertip but if you're just going to go off the end you can always um, just go off like that because it's going to get covered up anyway. Okay, now we're going to put some flow extender on. Oh, and. All right, let me get to tilting. Because we don't have but three minutes left. I am going to have to find a way to shorten my video. And one way is to tilt quilt quickly. Um, Nina says not to tilt quilt quickly to rock the paint back and forth, which I would prefer to do. But with our time limited, I'm going to have to go a little bit quickly. Go back to the middle. Let's go ahead and go off this corner. the center and I'm going to go on down to that corner okay just about down there little more okay and back to the center and then we're going to go over to this corner I don't know if I can I can get it turned should have just turned it around, but I think you can see this. I'm rushing. There we go. Oh, I'm liking this already. All right. Now we got to get over to this corner. And it's going slowly. Slowly but surely. 
Here we go. Off the edge. And it's off. Now let's bring it back to the center. I did get some nice cells out of this. I don't like how that mysterious is not staying together. It's just spotty. It's like little spots. Okay. Let me set that down where you can see it. Sorry about the glare. It's wet paint now. Well, there we have it. Aminapore. Pretty good one if I do say so myself. I like my colors. I'll do bring you for a quick close up. All those sails right there. It's pretty cool. I like it. I like it. It's kind of oceany. All right. Well, head on now over to Sea Cause and see one of her fabulous swipes. And I thank you for watching and coming today. And as I always say, I love you. Oops, almost forgot the finger, upside down. I love you. Take care, take care of each other. Spread the art, spread the love, and see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay, everybody. We have some dry results. It really turned out pretty. It's uh, cloudy outside, so there's not any sun shining. So you can't really see the glistening of the gold. And this looks more blue to you guys than it does to me. It's more turquoisey color to me. But look at the detail. The lines. The cells. The boulders. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Look at those lines. I wish the sun was out so we could see the gold glisten. But look at that, isn't that pretty? Look at that bottom right there. It's just got a lot of interest to look at. I'm so excited how good I did. <laughs> look at that. But anyway, there's our dry results. I wish you could see. I mean, I'm looking here at the camera and it's more blue in the camera, but in real life, it's more on the turquoise end. So you're not getting, you're not getting the true color through this. But anyway, I hope everybody enjoyed this. Thanks for watching the After Fab collab, and we'll see you soon. Thanks. Bye.